Welcome to Crude Tube. I'm Captain Crude, and here we are doing it again. NFL playoffs, divisional round. We got rid of the wild card round, and I was pretty close. I said all the home teams would win, except maybe again, uh, maybe Cincinnati. Well, what turned out to be it was Dallas losing. Go figure. At home, a hundred thousand. Cowboys fans watching the most inept coaching staff ever in under a two-minute drill. <laughs> Is the NFL fixed? Well, either the Cowboys are the dumbest motherfuckers on earth or that thing was rigged. How many penalties on the Cowboys? Uh, horrible coaching, horrible decisions, just you got to be kidding. They lost. How do you lose at home like that to the 49ers? Jimmy Garoppolo. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're going to get to the the upcoming games. Buffalo put a stomping, an absolute stomping on the Patriots. And you can say what you want. But when you see that kind of stomping where you have seven drives and you get seven touchdowns, that team means business. And whether it's rigged or whatever the hell is going on, the Bills are going to advance probably to the championship game. Now, Tennessee is the host team this week. Now, Tennessee, who knows what you got with that team? I've never liked them and... Who knows? I don't think you, you really want to see Ryan Tannehill in any kind of, you know, important game on TV. Now, getting back to the NFC, uh, the Buccaneers took care of business. Uh, the Rams took care of business. Uh, everything is pretty much going as planned, you know. It's, it's not, you know, up to us at this point. Like, who you're going to get in the Super Bowl really is up to the NFL. It's not up to the teams. It's up to the NFL. Uh, Green Bay, you, know, you, you got to look at it like Green Bay getting to the Super Bowl. And they were a team that made it once with Aaron Rodgers. Why just once? Why does he always lose in the championship games? Always. Does he get to advance this year? He was publicly humiliated by the NFL. <laughs> Do they repay him? Uh, maybe. Or or to me, like I picked, I thought since the beginning of the playoffs, it's going to be Chiefs against Buccaneers part two, this time with Mahomes uh, sending Brady into his retirement season next year, you know, as a you know, a, a Super Bowl loser again. I thought that would probably happen. Uh, who knows? But I still think, in the end, Mahomes uh, takes care of business with the Chiefs. I, I'm not too hot on the on the Bills going on the road anywhere. They have a huge home field advantage. Uh, it's just, they just don't I don't know. It's like Josh Allen in the Super Bowl. Do you do you put him, you know, against an Aaron Rodgers? New school against old school. Do you do that? Uh, maybe the Gematria is telling the story. I'm not even too sure. But this particular weekend is very interesting. Very interesting. You know, you're really going to see how it unfolds to the Super Bowl. Not just the winners and losers, but how they win and lose. Very, very, very true statement there. And this is this is going to be, you know, I, I think there's just too many variables. I mean, in this particular, on, you know, CrewTube, I was looking at my last video and some of the comments and some people said the Raiders were going to be chosen and it would be Raiders, Cowboys, but they both lost, you know. But my pick all along is, was always Mahomes, Brady, part two. But even I'm like doubting that a little bit because, you know, you're seeing other teams really kicking some ass. 
And one of the guys that fascinates me is Matthew Stafford. He has finally won a playoff game after 13 years in the league, something like that. <laughs> I don't even know. Finally wins in convincing fashion uh, with the Rams. And the Rams had that great defense. Uh, do you put Stafford in the Super Bowl? A Ma- imagine a Matthew Stafford against Ryan Tannehill Super Bowl. Would you watch it? Do you really want to see it? Actually, I think it's a great game. I think that could be good. Uh, but do I think it happens? I think we're going to see a lot this week and how the rest of it plays out. Because this extra round of of wild card, if you will, extra wild card team and then the extra week is kind of screwing everything up. So in the end, what you got, wait until this weekend's over. I'm not making any predictions until I see the way these games play out. Then you're going to know the true story. You're going to see if Buffalo can carry on kicking ass. You're going to you're going to see if the Rams can carry on kicking ass. And you're going to see if Aaron Rodgers still has a little gas in the tank or whatever. You know, whatever. <laughs> so, until I see you next week, peace. May all your bets win. <laughs> Cheers.